right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 26th of September, finishing up, uh, wow, that went quick, the month of September, and now on to our marathon month of October. And we have got some incredible events for you, our wine drinking people, this month. Three of them at the Fountain Blue at uh, a couple of their different restaurants. We have got our first one at Hockey San, which I'm really looking forward to next week because sake is one of my favorite beverages, uh, other than wine, of course. You know, you mix it up a little bit, you know. Every once in a while, I want to say I get bored of drinking wine because I don't. I drink wine every night, even some nights when I have sake. I'll have a little wine afterwards. And sake is a fermented beverage. It's brewed like beer is. And uh, it's rice for the most part. And, uh, well, it is for all parts. It's made in Japan. The best ones are. You can make it anywhere, I guess, anywhere where they have rice. And the thing that separates the great sake uh, from the good ones, which um, the stuff they serve warm in most suki sushi places is the bottom of the barrel. You don't serve a high-quality sake warm. So that's how you know you have a very average to below average quality sake. They're serving it to you warm. All of the good stuff is served chilled. And uh, it has this lovely floral aroma to it. And they say the milling of the rice is part of the secret because the protein is on the outside of the rice and the starch, which is what they ferment and uh, what they make the alcohol out of, the protein and the fat on the outside. And they mill that off and they have all the starch on the inside. You make a very fine, elegant sake with a highly milled rice, which is very very expensive to do that. And uh, Desai, uh, this is the sake house that we're going to be featuring on this evening. It makes some fabulous sake. He's one of the top producers in Japan. And uh, another thing has to do with the quality of the sake is the water where uh, they brew it. It also has a lot to do with beer, the same thing, the quality of the water. So uh, we're going to get an education on sake this evening at one of the top Japanese restaurants in South Florida. Hockey san I'm really looking forward to this dinner because, like I said, not only do I love sake, but I love this style of food and this style of eating a lot of little plates if you look at the menu here it really looks exciting some really cool stuff and uh, we've got like four or five different sakis we're taking down the hottest restaurant at the Fountain Blue property right now has been Hockey Sun hey they've also got Michael Mina 74 which is where we're going to be doing our Lewis tasting on October 21st that should be fantastic. And then we've got a Domain Art dinner with Christophe Renard, the winemaker for Domain Art, the top producer of rosé from the Cote de Provence. So uh, we've got a lot of great events going on at the Fountain Blue in October. So check it out. Uh, the complete lineup uh, for the Desai Sake Tasting at Hockey San, Sake Dinner. And uh, then, like I said, we've got uh, Christophe Renard here from Domain Art. And then we've got... Um, uh, Dennis Bell in from Lewis Cellars to finish up the month at the Fountain Blue. Check it out. Everything we're going to be drinking on the 2nd of October. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.